up, Steve. Hang on, bud. So I invited myself to make an impact on humanity. That's when I wrote my sequence plan. And I followed the steps and took action. Now money flows to prosperity. And I'm taking the world with me. Because I found the light in me that was flickering and slowly fading. But now I have a millionaire path to financially become free at last. Because I come out from underneath, take a good look at me. Because I'm living my dream and now I can see all I've achieved once I sat at the big table. I They say my name for millionaire roll call And now I stand tall And live out loud Cause I deserve it all Because I found the light in me That was flickering and slowly fading But now I have a millionaire path To financially become free See all I've achieved once I sat at the big table to be a teammate millionaire. I'm a teammate millionaire. I'm a teammate millionaire. I'm a teammate. Right. We're going to get started here in just a little bit. Welcome, welcome, everybody, to the Rapid Marketing System. Today's topic is going to be bite-sized marketing calls to action with Rapid Marketing System. And part of the inspiration for today, today's call is a lot of the marketing questions that we've been getting over the last couple of weeks are, hey, Lil, hey, Steve, I'm in a position to significantly start ramping up my social media attention uh, my social media output. So uh, what are the channels that I should be focusing on? And the ideology behind the bite-sized marketing calls to action, we're going to start to see more and more uh, of those ideas on these calls is we really want to reduce these weekly marketing calls to 30 minutes and focus on one call to action. So based off what we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about where should we start in terms of social media marketing, what are we going to be doing inside of social media marketing to start getting results? And that's going to be the focus. So that'll be today, laser focused on that call to action. The objective from this call will be go and then put that into practice. And then every single week, as you come back to the rapid marketing system calls, then I want to implement another bite-sized marketing call to action. What are we going to focus on this week? Okay, go, go take action, go complete it, go fulfill it. Now, before I get going, uh, I'm going to spend just a, I'm going to wait just another minute to 30 seconds. And I'm going to send out one more notification to all of our subscribers to let them know that we are live right now. So they don't miss us. Uh, the good thing is we are recording this and I will be sending out the replay. Um, to those of you that missed the replay from last week, I'm going to put that into the chat right now. So that way you have that and you can save it. And what I'm going to do moving forward with the replays is look out for the email that has the replay. And when you join live, I'll also be posting that replay directly here into the chat. So you can save it and uh, and you can bookmark it for, for use in the future. Uh, and then also, as we're progressing on today's call, as questions are popping up from you listening in, 
<clears throat> be very active into the chat. Jump into the chat. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what questions you're having. And then I can help you with that as well. So I think uh, I think let's go ahead and get started. I sent out one more notification to all of our subscribers. So we should be seeing uh, an influx of attendees coming in. Uh, those of you that are here and you're present, you were here early. Thank you someone for, for joining me. Uh, and uh, I'm going to give a quick shout out to those of you that were here early uh, because I'm going to give you guys a bonus just for showing up early. So um, that's uh, Brittany, Don, Julianne, Karen, Kim, and Pastor. You all showed up early today. So I'm going to reach out to you individually and uh, hook you guys up with a mini customer journey session. So all you have to do to get that session is email me to steve at askiws.com and just say, hey, Steve, I was on the rapid marketing system call and you promised me a mini customer journey session. So go ahead and email me. I'll send you out a very specific booking link for that, and we'll get you sorted on that. So again, welcome to Rapid Marketing System. Tonight's uh, topic is going to be bite-sized ma uh, marketing calls to action with Rapid Marketing System. My name is Steve Lemus, and along with Laurel Langmeyer, uh, who will pop in from time to time on these Rapid Marketing System calls um, to guide and also to push you into call to action. Um, why are why should you be listening to me? Why am I on this call? Well, I am a digital marketing and a creative content expert. And more recently, I have now also added uh, <clears throat> prompt engineer to my list of accolades. So with the growing uh, popularity of artificial intelligence, uh, chat GPT, there is now a creative outlet to be able to tell that artificial intelligence what you want, and that is through prompt engineering. So welcome, welcome. Um, also, uh, if you guys don't know who I am, I do handle Laurel's account almost 100% uh, aside from some other projects that I'm working on, but uh, I want to welcome everybody to the show. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's dive right into what social media accounts do I focus on right now if number one, I'm starting out, or number two, I may have only been focused on maybe one account, maybe two accounts, and I want to start to expand and grow uh, grow that capacity. Well, here's the cool thing about social media marketing in general today is most every single social media account out there now has the technology, um, the feature, if you will, that can let you post video content. If you're somebody who's not posting video content consistently, and I'm talking about every single day, I would get into the habit of doing that every single day. And here's the cool thing about those social media platforms is start with the platform that is the most restrictive when it comes to uploading content. Here's what I mean by that. So currently, YouTube Shorts caps at a minute of time. So if you're recording videos that are over two minutes and you try to upload to YouTube short, it's going to cut it down to a minute. If you start with a minute clip, now you can work backwards and continue to repurpose your content everywhere. So if you focus on a 30 second clip, a one minute clip, you can now take that clip and really go across the spectrum. You can go to LinkedIn. You can obviously do YouTube shorts. Uh, you can go to Instagram, Facebook Reels. Uh, you can also use the use these as posts as well as reels and video features. Uh, you can go to TikTok. You can go to Twitter. And also, uh, I was reading an article not too long ago that Pinterest is now also exploring and experimenting with their own uh, quote unquote real style feature and content. So pretty, I mean, I'm, you could probably go do this today if you go set up a Pinterest account. But what you're going to start to see is Every single social media channel that is built from here forward is going to be built with those features in mind. They want you to do vertical video. They need to be between 20, 30 seconds, max one minute. And I'll talk about some strategies a little bit later on here on how you can be taking the, the, the shorter content and then leveraging that to push your audience to longer content so they can convert into paying customers. So back to the slide really quick so if you're currently starting with social media marketing social media uh, uh, awareness um, in the customer journey there's three stages that i recommend you plan and focus to 
really hone in on before you even move into a different thing. Um, and there's different parts of the customer journey that will ultimately talk about monetization and then going down your funnel or your value ladder and then, and then going into fulfillment. And then in turn, that prospect becomes the client. They become an advocate for you because you're amazing. You fulfill, you have great products and services. And then they bring you customers, they bring you referrals. Before you even get to that stage, you're focusing on three stages, which is your awareness, which then leads into engagement, which then goes into subscription. So those are, are the those are the vernacular. What that really means is you post enough content, people now view you as the credible source. They then go and opt in to your systems. They're going to go and download your free products, your free services and see, okay, who is this person? What are they an expert in? Can they help me individually? And then eventually, then they go into the paid products. Now, if you're starting out with social media, I recommend you focus on three different platforms to start. That's going to be TikTok, that's going to be Instagram, and it's going to be LinkedIn. Now, in a few conversations, if you've heard me speak, I, I say that LinkedIn is a split path between LinkedIn and YouTube. And I'm going to explain that here in just a little bit. But let's focus on those three platforms and I'll tell you why. So let's jump into the first one. So why TikTok? Forget about what you're seeing out there in the political media about how TikTok's going to get banned in the United States and how some government agencies have already banned it and how India actually banned it completely. So you can't even use it in India. Um, TikTok is still the number one platform in the U.S., not speaking to this worldwide, in the U.S. where you can go viral by simply posting content every single day and being consistent. Now, aside from all the political jargon that's happening out there, do we know what's going to happen? We don't know. We know that TikTok is a fairly huge company and it's going to take some time before any real uh, effect comes, at least directly to us here in the U.S., now, aside from those of you that are in the government sector, maybe you're in the public sector, um, maybe potentially in, you know, uh, county schools or things like that, I could see a crackdown coming, but it, we're still a ways away from that being official. Uh, do take advantage of TikTok. Do start posting daily so that way you can get a followership fairly fast and then start building that online credibility. Um, the second platform that you want to focus on is Instagram. And Instagram, because it's the new feature, new platform that has been absorbed by Facebook, which is now Meta, uh, Meta, Facebook, Instagram, it's all the same identity. And there was an interesting conversation that I was having with, uh, with an expert not too long ago when I was in Fort Worth. And the conversation is, I asked them this question. I said, based off of what you're seeing on social media and based off of the target audience that I want to capture, where should I go in terms of a platform? And my mind immediately was thinking, well, if I want to capture an older audience, you know, mainly baby boomers, uh, I'm going to go to Facebook because that's where everyone started. Everyone started on Facebook. And if I want to go and capture a younger audience, uh, I'm going to go to TikTok because that's where the young audience is. And what was really interesting was the answer. And they told me this. They said, it's getting to the point where all platforms are crossing over in terms of audiences, um, because here's what's happening. And I'll give you an example. So there was a realtor that started to post a lot of content on TikTok. And knowing that the audience was probably younger when TikTok was first, uh, was first starting out and starting to become popular, um, the intention was, well, the young audience is going to get me in front of the moms, the dads, the uncles, um, the person that's actually going to make the transaction. So that is what happened. So the realtor started to post content every single day, become consistent. Next thing you know, it was a niece and nephew that said, hey, mom and dad, you should check out this real estate property. I know we're going to be moving there this summer and we should probably go talk to this realtor to see if we can put a bid in, in on this property. So what's starting to happen is Number one, you want to be on every single platform. That's really where we're getting to. The reality is you need to be on every single platform because you don't know who's watching, who's going to be referring your video to 
the actual person that's going to be the paid customer. Now, focusing on the first three, I want to drive this direction because if you're doing this yourself, if you're one person, you can do this in 15 to 20 minutes a day. It's not hard to go and record a a 30 second video or a one minute video uh, and post it. Now, keep this in mind. Social media is meant to be imperfect. It's meant for you to mess up on. It's meant for you to be genuine. It's meant for you to show who you are. So the longer you take and overthink content creation and shooting a video, the worse it's probably going to look and be consumed by your customers. And there are those times, and a lot of you can probably relate to this, where you shoot a 30 second video, you shoot a one minute video, it takes no energy at all. You think, huh, that was just whatever. And that ends up being probably one of your best pieces of content. So as you start to, oops, hold on a second, I'm getting an incoming call there. So as you start to look at what is going to be my call to action, my strategy to be more consistent on these platforms, number one, the, the decisions have already been made for you today right on this call. Focus on TikTok, focus on Instagram. And then the next one that you want to focus on is LinkedIn. Now, remember earlier what I said, there's going to be two paths here based off of what you want results-wise. And I'm going to tell you right now what that is. So LinkedIn, for most of you, is where all of the professionals hang out. It's where the decision makers are going to be. Well, here's also what is happening with LinkedIn. It's also a huge recruitment platform. Uh, It's also a huge job platform. Those of you that are entrepreneurs and your target audience are people that have nine to five jobs, maybe high end corporate, maybe business owners, you're going to want to look for the gatekeepers of those companies because it's rare that the actual owners of those companies are themselves on LinkedIn. And I can give you the example of Laurel. So Laurel doesn't manage the LinkedIn account. We have somebody on our team who does that, but at least she gets notified on messaging and instruction based off of what we're seeing out there. Now, here's the other path that you will need to make a decision on. So LinkedIn is always going to be the more professional audience for you. These are professionals that you can be very upfront with and transparent with. Hey, my name is, I'm an expert in, and I'd love to help you. These are my products and my services. Are you looking for somebody to help you with that on your team? Are you looking to hire more team? Are you looking for support? Are you looking to to do a collaboration, those types of conversations. Now, each social media channel can be its own result in terms of monetization. So here's what I mean by that. When we get to this third point of either doing LinkedIn or doing YouTube, you can make the decision, well, I know there's a strategy for YouTube. And if I focus on YouTube over the next 365 days, I'm going to get to the point where YouTube AdSense will now pay me to post content because I'm making money based off of the ads that show up on my videos. That is a real result. That is a path and it can be achieved in 365 days or less. I've seen it. We've done it. It's there. Um, Your decision will have to be, why am I, why am I posting content on social media? And again, we go back to the customer journey, which is, Is it to create more awareness because you don't have enough people that know who you are? They don't know what you're an expert in and you're relying on person-to-person interactions either through this community, going to the marketplaces, or you're going to live events, you're going to meetups, uh, you're doing lectures, presentations, et cetera. That is very limited because you're, you're conditioning yourself to be in front of maybe one person maybe 10 people, maybe 100 people, maybe 1,000 people if you actually did a presentation in front of a lecture hall. Now, if you look at a social media account, I'm going to go back to uh, the TikTok slide. Over 1 billion active users. And imagine being able to get a fraction of those eyeballs on your content. Well, as you create content and post on TikTok, you post on Instagram, you post on LinkedIn, or you decide you want to go to YouTube, you are 10xing, 100xing, 1,000, 1 million xing your reach in terms of eyeballs on your content. And then now it's really a plan of timing because 
if you were to create one 30 second clip and post that every single day on all of your social media channels, you're going to get exponential growth based off consistency. And that is going to leverage much more awareness that is going to come back to you. Then from there, it is now your role to go and start engaging with people. Engagement will come organically for some, but you want to, you want to engage. You want to be active back to your audience and start to message and say, hey, thank you so much for following me. Uh, what can I help you with? What are you interested in? What can I do for you? And as you start to continue down that path, then you will grow a rhythm for number one, bombarding the internet in the engagement phase with your products, with your services, with your content, with your video. Number two, people will come in turn and start to engage with you. And then, in, and then the third thing is you're going to drive them to subscription, which is going to be, hey, opt in for my free stuff. My free stuff's over there. So the call to action from today's call is going to be, number one, if you haven't decided on at least three different social media platforms, you now have your three. You have TikTok, you have Instagram, and you have LinkedIn. If you are somebody who's listening to this and you're thinking, I want YouTube to pay me. I want that to be another income stream. Then you're going to do TikTok, you're going to do Instagram, and you're going to do YouTube. The formula is a little bit different because remember what I said earlier, how YouTube shorts is the bottleneck. It's a minute or less to post on YouTube shorts and then you can post everything, every, every, you can post everywhere else. Well, YouTube is a little bit different because if you want to make that your main hustle and monetize, the formula is a little bit more robust. You need to post 20 videos a month, one video every single day, Monday through Friday. The videos need to be between eight minutes to 10 minutes in length. And they need to have a very specific scripted formula inside of it. And the formula includes the titles. Why are people here? Why should they listen to you? Deliver on the content. Hey, this is what I promised you based off the title. And then the calls to action. You're going to be able to script that with the help of artificial intelligence today based off of your expertise, your background, and tell ChatGPT, hey, ChatGPT, uh, can you give me 20 YouTube scripts on this topic because I'm an expert in this topic? It's going to come back and say, yep, here you go. And now you will have completed about 80% of the work that it takes to actually start producing content. And then the next thing you need to do is jump on camera, start recording, don't think about it, and then go to the next level. So the bite-sized marketing call to action for this call is pick three channels as recommended off this call, go and start posting media. If you're already doing all three of those and you're wondering, well, how can I expand past that and uh, get more audience, then repurpose. Start with the bottleneck channel in mind, which is YouTube Shorts, maximum one minute. That may change in the future. They may decide to up that. But now you start there and you're going to go backwards and post everywhere else. Now, here's a really cool strategy. If you have decided, I'm going to go all in on YouTube because that's going to be my side hustle and that's going to be my income stream, then using that formula that I discussed earlier, you're recording regular high definition vertical format video, and then you're recutting for everything else from there, which is exactly what we do for Laurel. We spend time, energy, money, team, scripting, editing, and creating content for our YouTube channel. And then we go and we splice and we cut and we we'll repurpose everywhere else. And that's pretty much all I have for you today for bite sized marketing cost action. Now, we do have about six more minutes left before we wrap. Uh, what questions do you have? Jump into the chat right now. I'm going to go ahead and open up these chat lines. They should be open now. Uh, let me know what questions you have. And then I do know, um, Jeff, I know you're out there too, hanging out in the background. Uh, if there's anything else that you wanted to add, jump into. Um, I know that we get a lot of questions from our audience for social media, for, uh, for CRM, uh, for what can I do to continue that customer journey so I can convert them into paid customers. And actually, here's something that we can do. Um, yes, so Karen, so if you decide you want to go the YouTube route, the, the formula is recording high definition landscape video because that's what YouTube wants. You recording that in 
you know, 2K, 4K, 8K, whatever you want to do, will give you the formats to go back and go vertical. Vertical. All short form video in the foreseeable future is going to be vertical format, 60 seconds or less. That's really where it's going to be. Um, and the strategy is you begin with that short format video, and then you invite them to longer format video. So if I had to give you an example, it could be, um, yes, so 30 seconds to a minute that, well, here's what I mean by by that example, Jermaine. So, if your only intention is creating short form vertical video on all the platforms, it's a minute or less. And the sweet spot is about 30 seconds. Some experts say minimum of 20, some experts say 30, some experts say more. From what I've seen and from what we've been doing on Laurel's channel and some case studies that I've done myself is minute is max. If you do 30 seconds, that's going to give you a little bit more engagement because the video is consumed really fast and then they go on to the next one. So I would say between 30 seconds to a minute, 20 seconds, in my opinion, is not long enough for the type of content you're going to create as an expert, as a professional. Your job on social media is not to entertain. Your job on social media is to educate as an expert because you're trying to create awareness that drives to engagement and then convert those subscriptions. If you were a comedian, if you were somebody who loves dancing and you're looking to eventually have that channel pay you, that's another strategy because that's also a path. Um, and by the way, we're at the point now where you could pick any channel and create enough content, use strategies that are already proven to be able to monetize those channels. But most of you that are attending these rapid marketing system calls, you're here because the content you're creating is to educate your prospects so they eventually become your customers. That's, that's the formula. So 30 seconds to a minute. If you go over a minute, you can always go back and edit. Uh, and uh, the vertical format is for all short form video. What I was talking about earlier is if your intent is to go create 10 minute videos for YouTube, you want to record those in 4K or higher definition because when you edit and reduce to the vertical format, which is 30 seconds to a minute, it's going to reduce the quality. So that's why you want to have that in place. Always do more when it comes to capture because it's easier to take a output that is more professional and reduce it to what you want it versus having something that's not as good and trying to um, up-level it into more resolution, if that makes sense. Perfect. Awesome. Hey, hey, Steve, you know, if I can add to you guys, the key is you have to grab their attention in the first three seconds. Steve, you mentioned this before. So don't get caught up in trying to have intro reels and, and videos and pictures and things to grab attention, okay? Because it uses that time. And if you don't grab them instantly, um, it, it really can keep people from watching the whole video. So don't catch yourself worrying about intro sounds and music and videos and so forth, uh, you know, or, or lead. Um, that, that time is well spent getting right to the point of what you're going to you know, basically educate them about, and that's going to help them get engaged with you. And that's what you want. The way you're going to grow is, is having that engagement and having them watch that whole video. That algorithm, when they see people watching that whole video, has a lot more impact. And in a minute's time, you'd be surprised that even a three-second intro that you think grabs attention, um, people will get used to that and they ultimately do it. And I know, Steve, you spoke about that, I think, gosh, in one of the first weeks you were doing RMS. And I think it's really important to make sure that that first three seconds really grabs attention and don't use an intro, guys. Um, maybe an outro, but definitely not an intro. Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. And here's the formula. So your script for all short form video is number one, your hook. What is the attention grabbing hook that's going to reel the person in? Hey, I'm going to show you five ways on how you can make money today. Did you know that this actually hurts your credit score? Did you know that if you do this, your car may break down? Those are your attention grabbing hooks that start. Once you've done the attention grabbing hook, give them what you promised. Tell them the five ways to make money. Tell them why their car is going to break down. Tell them why you hooked them. And then the call to action for most of your content is going to be, hey, if you're enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, follow for more. As you start to get more engagement and your audience starts to follow you, you're going to see what people engage with more or less. And then the next thing, which is down the line on our rapid marketing systems calls, is how do I use boosted ads with my content to gain more prospects? Also, last but not least, uh, those of you that are out there following on YouTube, a couple of questions in the chat. What's the best software you've used for short video creation? 
Uh, I come from using DaVinci Resolve to Final Cut Pro to iMovie to Premiere, pretty much anything you can name under the sun. This year, somebody introduced me to Descript. And Descript is the number one video editing platform that I've seen for this. Vertical video, 30 seconds to a minute, record it on your phone, upload it into Descript. It'll transcribe your video. If you can edit text and delete sentences, you can edit video. I'll put a chat in the description. That's all I got for you tonight. So appreciate everybody. Uh, those of you that are live on our Zoom channel. Yep, I got my email here in the chat. So uh, also, those of you that are currently inside of our rapid marketing system access, uh, our team is the, so those of you that are working with Jesse, uh, you want to make sure you connect with her for anything happening inside of your rapid marketing system. Uh, those of you that were on first on this call, and I promised you a bonus, email me for that bonus. You know who you are. Uh, for the rest of you, please join us next week for another bite-sized marketing call to action with rapid marketing system. Uh, have a good night. We'll see you on the next call. Appreciate y'all. Bye.